Hey fellas, I'm <clears throat> heading going over these Tom slips that I got uh, a couple weeks ago. I was at the track with Stupor Trooper. I took it up there uh, because I think that was the last day Brad was going to be around. And even though the uh, traction lock could give up the ghost, I still went up there just to just to uh, you know keep in practice because I hadn't been up there that much. We've had rain, we you know weather didn't cooperate. We've had drifting events blah 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 so <clears throat> I needed to uh, make a couple runs to stay in practice so uh, the traction lock gave up on the stupor trooper again what happened was the uh, little emergency brake Paul kind of hung a little bit on the driver's side and it wasn't releasing so that was what was causing the issue I thought I was doing the right thing by putting new cables and calipers and all that on there when I converted the disc brakes but still had issues with it so I'm going to put a spool in, and the main reason, well, two reasons are the, the spool is lighter than a traction lock, so it's less uh, rotating mass to get moving, and then, of course, it's it's not going to fail like the uh, traction lock. So, here's what I did. I had car double zero, my dad's old uh, race car number. First pass, had a 164, 60 foot, which is garbage. It should be in the 150... Low 150, high 140, I would think. That's what I would shoot for. And then, uh, so 743 at 93, 4. Third, second pass, I spun. And then the third pass, it uh, about the same 60 foot, but I got a 746 at 93, 5. So, what I do when I get done at the track, I bring all the stuff home. Not in the computer, I got a little spreadsheet. Keep track of everything. I got the date, uh, reaction time, launch RPM, all that stuff is on there. Weather information goes on there. And then anything I did with the car. Uh, I know the refresh rate on the screen and the frame rate on the cameras or the phones making it all. Probably giving people seizures, but uh, just hang in there. And then I keep the strut and shock information too. So that's all. That's about just gives me something to uh, compare to and then I can you know I got different tabs on the spreadsheet for the different cars there's the LX and then the LTD LX from when I had it running good lord five years ago was up there <laughs> so anyway uh, that's that just gonna give you an update on that uh, uh, <clears throat> probably put the spool in there in uh, probably another week and a half two weeks I'll get it in there, and then we'll have it back at the track sometime in February when the weather cooperates with us. All right, appreciate y'all later.